I'm Ashley Dvorkin for FoxNews.com Lifestyle. Chef Stephanie Izard of the Girl and the Goat restaurant and, of course, of Top Chef fame is helping the U.S. Postal Service unveil its new limited edition Celebrity Chef Forever stamps. And she joins me now to discuss. Welcome, Stephanie. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Ashley. How are you? Good, thank you. So let's start by telling us about these Celebrity Chef stamps and uh, how the chefs that are being honored with them inspired you specifically. Perfect. Yeah, today we're celebrating five chefs who really have paved the path to where I get to be today and inspired me in different ways. Starting off, James Beard, I think, is a very recognizable name for the James Beard Awards. Um, but if you look back at where he got started, he really brought cooking outdoors to us. Simple things like macaroni salad or grilling outside that we got to do all summer long is really thanks to James Beard. Uh, Felipe Rojas Lombardi brought us Spanish influence, um, namely the tapas, which for me, Girl on the Goat, which is all small plates and shared plates, it started with him uh, bringing those different flavors to us and the idea of sharing. Uh, Joyce Chen bringing Chinese cuisine to us. So when you're calling up and getting that delicious beef and broccoli to satisfy your hunger, it's because Joyce Chen really brought the Chinese cuisine to America and made us understand how uh, we could all enjoy it as well. Um, Edna Lewis brought Southern cuisine to the rest of the country. So. The fried chicken and biscuits I have in front of me that I want to dive into right now, just showing us that it's not just for the South, that we can enjoy it all over. Um, and then Julia Child, another you know big name that I really have a strong connection to. She um, enjoyed French cuisine so much, she decided to bring it to America, bring it into the home kitchen. She was one of the first women on television, and she really just brought fun into the kitchen, which I think is why I admire her so much. Yeah, and then what does it mean to you to be picked to help launch this? It's huge. You know, today in Chicago, we're actually starting Chicago Gourmet, which is a big celebration of food in Chicago this weekend. Um, so perfect timing to celebrate these chefs that really got all of us Chicago chefs to where we are today. So um, a huge honor to be chosen. And I'm standing here with all their pictures around me. I feel like I'm among the greats, which is amazing. Of course. And then we wanted to get your thoughts on another story. Um, there's a chef in San Francisco who recently temporarily closed his restaurant over demanding customers. So I'm wondering, how do you deal with requests from picky eaters? You know, what we've decided is that we work our best to really get the customers what they're looking for. You know, there's a lot of allergies these days, and there's always going to be the picky eaters. And you could go the route of saying no. Um, or what we've decided to do is create special menus for gluten-free or vegan or what, what is, whatever it is, because we want our customers to be able to enjoy our food as much as they can. So there's different routes to go and understandable on both sides. But for us, it's trying to accommodate the guests as much as possible. Sure. And then how is it going at the Girl and the Goat and the Little Goat? Uh, what's your current favorite item that you're serving these days or a choice ingredient you're all about? Oh, wow. Well, fall just kicked in. So for me, it's all about getting excited about fall ingredients. Um, here in Chicago and in the Midwest, there's so many local apples. And I think it's so exciting to see you can go to the farmer's market and there's about 50 varieties of apples ever to taste and enjoy. So picking different apples, putting them all over the menus at both restaurants, I think is where I'm excited about right now. And you're also on Top Chef Duels and heading into the finale. So are you excited? Yes, I think um, going back and I got to know Kristen so well doing that duels together because we're basically together for three days working on that. Um, she's amazing and so precise and her food is fantastic. So I'm just excited to see where she goes with her career and um, going back and getting to see some of my chef friends was a ton of fun. Do you watch a lot of cooking competition shows just in general now? What do you think makes a contestant stand out on these shows? Like what's a common mistake maybe too? I think that, um, you know, the person that's going to stand out is making great food, but also, you know, maybe admitting when there's a little fumble um, and having fun in the kitchen, uh, which is funny because we're talking about Julia Child today. So that's what she was all about is being able to, oops, I made a mistake. Oh, well, <laughs> laughing it off. Um, so I think having that approach on TV is great. And then I think sometimes people forget the cameras are watching and maybe maybe they look back later and they're like, wow, maybe I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, great. Stephanie, thank you so much. Best of luck with everything. Appreciate your time today. Thanks, Ashley. And remember, you can go to USPS.com to get these stamps today. Great. Thank you. And thank you so much for watching. For FoxNews.com Lifestyle, I'm Ashley Dvorkin.